welcome to the seventh video in the Real Evolution FileMaker video series. In FileMaker, a calculation is an expression which returns a value. Calculations are a recurrent feature of FileMaker which have a wide variety of applications, including displaying dynamic values in fields, defining auto entry values for fields, record security and validation, find and replace statements, and scripts. Today we'll be looking at the structure of a calculation, using calculations with fields, and custom functions. The structure of a calculation in FileMaker essentially consists of an expression which returns a value. The expression itself contains logic, including functions, field references, and operators. To a large extent, calculations are best explained by example, so we'll take a quick look at a calculation in the context of our retail example. In this case, we'll be applying a calculation to a field. This means that the value of the field will be read-only, but will be automatically updated every time changes are made to the data which is used in the calculation. The table being used is the order item table. Each record corresponds to an item on an order. The relevant fields for our purposes are the price and quantity fields. To begin with, add a field called total cost, setting the field type to calculation. Click OK and FileMaker will display the calculation dialog. The top half of this calculation dialog for fields consists of a list of fields, operators and a variety of functions. The middle portion of the box consists of the calculation itself. As you can see, it will initially be empty. In the bottom portion of the screen you can specify the type of data that will be returned by the calculation. In this case we'll be returning the total value of the order item accounting for price and quantity, so our return data type will be a number. For the purposes of this example, I'll be writing the calculation in small pieces to keep it as simple as possible. The first thing we'll discuss is including fields in the calculation. We'll calculate the total order item cost by multiplying the price of the item by the quantity ordered. To begin with, double-click the price field from the field list. FileMaker will include it in the calculation window. Then, add the multiplication operator. Finally, double-click the quantity field. As it stands, the calculation will return the cost of the order item. However, we'll now add a little more complexity and demonstrate the inclusion of constants by supposing that we wish to apply a goods and services tax of 10%. To do this, firstly, encase the existing part of the calculation in brackets. Secondly, add a multiplier operator. Thirdly, manually enter the value of 1.1. This value assumes that the value of the goods and services tax is 10%. Finally, we'll demonstrate the use of native functions by assuming our retailer is less than scrupulous and wishes to round up the total cost of the order items to the nearest whole number. To do this, we'll use the seal function. Click OK to exit the calculation dialog, and again to exit the Manage Database dialog. You'll now be able to observe that the calculation field automatically updates based on the values entered into price and quantity. In the previous section, we discussed using native functions within a calculation. If you're using FileMaker Pro Advanced, you can also create custom functions. The calculations used in custom functions are very similar to the calculations used in fields. However, custom functions accept parameters and do not contain any references to fields. Additionally, custom functions allow recursion. To add a custom function, select File, Manage, Custom Functions. Click New and FileMaker will display the function dialog. You can add parameters using the top left list box and also specify the function name. Click OK to save when you're done. Finally, custom functions created using FileMaker Pro Advanced can be used by other versions of FileMaker Pro, however cannot be edited. Thanks for watching this installment of the Real Evolution FileMaker video series. We hope to see you again soon.